My dear friends, in Matthew chapter 17, we read the wonderful story of Jesus' transfiguration. And when this incident took place, the disciples, the close disciples of Jesus who were with him really didn't know what to say. They were completely mesmerized in that experience. And they came up with a proposal to Jesus saying, Lord, it's good for us to be here. So let's build three tents, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. But Jesus rejected it. Now, why did Jesus reject it? Because there was something greater that they needed to understand about Jesus, which was not there for Moses and Elijah. He was the Son of God. He was the Messiah. And therefore Jesus did not want three tents built there. He called for their total obedience and devotion to Jesus and Jesus alone. Now when it comes to wolves in sheep's clothing or false prophets and false teachers, there is something that we all need to understand about a danger that we face when we have these wolves in sheep's clothing roaming around. And that is, they bring you to the feet of the Lord, we'll say, if that's what you want to say. But at the same time, they want to draw you to themselves. In other words, while there is the tent that you have built for Jesus, they also want a tent built along with Jesus' tent. And finally, the total shift is made without your knowledge and your faithfulness, your obedience, even your worship will be taken away by them to themselves. Be careful. That's not what Jesus would like to see happening in your life. If you have been drawn to the Lord, if you have accepted him to your life, your total faithfulness and obedience is to Jesus and Jesus alone. And there can't be another in par with that. Remember that. You may have heard these teachers, these false prophets, these wolves in sheep's clothing are also calling you to look at them, to follow them. And even they tell you, I decide on your destiny. Only God can do that for us. So be careful, my friends. Don't allow another tent to be built along with the tent you have for Jesus. Keep your faithfulness to him and don't let these people control you, take over your life. No matter what their preaching is, how great they look and what great miracles they perform, remember, they are seeking a place to build their tent alongside with Jesus' tent in your life. May we pray. Lord Jesus, we come to you now asking you to guard and protect us from the wolves in sheep's clothing who are seeking to devour us and they may sound so good, they may be so attractive in their preaching and teaching and also in the demonstration of the gospel through miracles. But at the end of the day, if they are seeking space in our lives to build a tent for them, Lord, may we get away from it. May we completely go away from them because we know 
that our faithfulness, our worship, our obedience is to you and you alone and not to any other human being. Lord, help us. Help us through the power of your Holy Spirit so that we may remain safe with you in your tent. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless and protect you.